So today I thought I would make a little video about mite treatment. In the fall it's important to treat your bees for mites. The varroa mite is the most common pest for the bees and uh, if you have them in your colony over the winter it will really lower the chances of survival from your bees. So um, so we have the mouse guard on it from last time. I'm surprised that there's still some bees coming in with some pollen, like this one there has some pollen on her legs. You know? So there's still some pollen out there for them. Um, but what I want to show you is how to, uh, how I treat for mite. Um, I use formic acid, which is a natural chemical, for lack of a better word. Um, formic comes, like the word formic comes from ant. Uh, ants are known to generate a lot of uh, formic acid. But as well, any all insects will generate some level of formic acid. So it is a natural product, you could say. Uh, however, we're using it in a high concentration here. The um, What we're going to do is expose the hive to formic acid vapors. The vapors um, will permeate through the hive. We'll be able to get inside the uh, capped brood. So all the little bees that are still uh, you know, in development right now that will become our winter bees. And uh, we're hoping that the exposure to these vapors will kill all the mites that are right now, or that might be in the capped brood but also help uh, any other mites that might be just attached to some of the adult bees there. So, but most of the mites you know their development cycle will be inside the capped brood. So the way to do it is fairly easy. That's the way I do it. Uh, I use uh, shot paper and I'll put in there. This is a board that will slide under the hive like this. So in the summer, you keep this open. There is actually a screen um, in this area that allows airflow to go through. So in the winter, that's gonna be in, so it will help with the airflow. I don't want any bees on there. So the way my treatment works, it's uh, two tablespoons of this product on the paper. I will slide this back in, the vapors will go th through the hive. You do this um, at least four times over a 21 day period, you want to cover the entire uh, brood cycle. So from the time there's an egg that's being laid to the time you get a mature bees, it's about 21 days. You want to make sure that you have treatment during all that time period. So every four to seven days, uh, you come back and you redo this. And uh, I had a video of when I pulled this board, but I was not recording. <laughs> Uh, we could see some mites on it. So there is a little bit of um, a little quantity of mites in, in this hive and uh, we need to uh, treat it so it has the best chance of survival. Now this stuff is pretty nasty. Right now the wind is blowing away from me. Uh, it's not something you want to breathe. You want to use a respirator. Um, it can be quite irritant for your lungs. So there you go. We're gonna Essentially, going to do two tablespoons of this stuff. That's one, and we'll have a little bit more there. But it's not an exact exact science. There. Want to move that bee out of there? And now we're gonna simply slide it underneath, and that's it. That's the mite treatment. Put the cap on, and that will stay there. And uh, I'm gonna redo it. So this is the third treatment now that I do on this hive. I'll do the same thing on the other one.
So that's it. I hope you learned something. You know the winter's coming, but bees are still pretty active, as you can see. I'm not seeing any drones anymore, so uh, I think that they are pretty much done evicting all of the drones. That's it. Hope you learned something.